chloroplasts of plants use sunlight energy and water to reduce carbon dioxide to form glucose, C6H12O6. Essentially, oxidation and reduction reactions, also known as redox reactions, involve the transfer of electrons between two chemical species. By far the most familiar redox reaction is the corrosion of metal, also known as rusting. The specific reaction is 4-Fe iron plus 3-O2 oxygen plus 6-H2O water going to 4-FeOH3 iron hydroxide, also known as rust. In this reaction, iron reacts with oxygen and water to form iron hydroxide. The presence of water is crucial for rusting to occur because it facilitates the transfer of electrons between iron and oxygen. This is why there is generally less rust in desert climates, less water. The process of rusting can be accelerated by factors such as exposure to salt, which enhances the conductivity of water and speeds up the electron transfer. This concept should be familiar to you after what you learned about aqueous solutions properties. Water by itself is a poor conductor of electricity, i.e. electrons, but once you add salt, it becomes much better. This is why there is so much more rusting on cars that use salt on their roads to combat ice and snow. Another familiar redox reaction is photosynthesis. This reaction looks like 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus light energy going to C6H12O6 plus 6O2. In it, chloroplasts of plants use sunlight energy and water to reduce carbon dioxide to form glucose, C6H12O6. Essentially, the water molecule H2O donates electrons to CO2, reducing it into the carbohydrate building block used to create plant matter. In redox reactions, there is always a species getting oxidized and another getting reduced. With rusting, iron loses its electrons to oxygen, and when a substance loses electrons, it is oxidized. Therefore, iron was oxidized by oxygen, hence the term oxidized. When a substance gains electrons, it is reduced. With rusting, the oxygen is getting reduced, gains electrons from iron. The reduction term might not make as much sense, but if you think about it in terms of charge, the electrons have a negative charge, so if you gain more of them, your overall charge will be reduced. However, the easiest way to remember the definitions of oxidation and reduction is with the acronym OIL RIG. Oxidation is loss of electrons, and reduction is gain of electrons. Oftentimes, in redox reactions, chemicals can gain or lose more than one electron, so chemists came up with a concept called oxidation numbers to keep track. Oxidation numbers keep track of how many electrons an atom has gained or lost compared to its neutral state. By neutral state, we mean the same number of electrons as described by the periodic table. For example, if we were able to isolate pure hydrogen H2 or oxygen O2, its oxidation number would be zero. However, once these elements turn into ions, the oxidation number matches their charge. H plus would have an oxidation number of one, and O2 minus would have an oxidation number of minus 2. We'll go over in more depth how to determine the oxidation number of any element in a compound once we go over electronegativity with chemical bonding in Unit 8. For now, you th use these handy tricks for compounds containing different elements. Group 1 and 2 metals always have oxidation numbers of plus 1 and plus 2 respectively. Oxida oxygen usually has an oxidation number of minus 2, expect except in special cases like peroxides, where it has a plus 1, or fluoride compounds, where it has a plus 2. Hydrogen is plus 1 when bonded to nonmetals and minus 1 when bonded to metals. Lastly, and most key of all, the sum of all oxidation numbers in a neutral molecule or compound must be 0. If you found value in this video, please like it and let people know about the channel because it really does help spread the knowledge. Based on what you learned, think about the following questions. In photosynthesis, what reactants are getting oxidized and reduced? What are the oxidation numbers of each element of the reactants in photosynthesis? Thank you so much for spending your valuable time learning and bettering yourself. If you like the video and want to learn more, donate, or get tutoring, please check out my website, nocollegeneeded.org. You can use the code NCN for 20% off tutoring and any supplemental materials.